Today, we have a triple delight. Our Wednesday's children are sweet siblings who just have one wish, and that's to live together. <laughs> Dare we say there were three monkeys on the loose at the Dickerson Park Zoo. I like the zoo. It's really fun. There's eight-year-old Bethany. She is very protective of her brothers. Kyle, who's seven. He is very intelligent. And the baby of the group, five-year-old Austin. He is also very lovable. My brothers are honorary. <laughs> Henri, maybe, but we think they're just excited to see one another. Right now, that's a privilege. We don't have a family today. Living under one roof is what these three want. Like, really bad. I mean, you can definitely tell the bond that is between these three. But even with a strong bond, they're still typical siblings. Who picks on each other more? Who's the baby of the bunch? Who's the funniest? You know, all three of these kids are just longing for that forever family. Now is probably the most crucial time for us to find a home for all three of them together. Feed that one. That one's really funny. They rely on each other, even when they're apart. They have to depend on each other. And now they have to depend on someone else to help them be something many families take for granted. They need help to be whole. These three kids would be a great asset to any family. You know, they just need lots of love and encouragement. As you just saw, Bethany, Kyle, and Austin get along really well, but they also do great with adults. They're good listeners, and they're very helpful. If you'd like to learn more about them, give the Adoption Exchange a call. The number is 1-800-554-2222. Of course, they're very smart. They're lovable kids, and they want to live together, not just so that they can live in one house. They want to go to the same school, and they said that they want to say goodnight to each other. So those are very important things to them. You know, a lot of people may not know I'm one of them, the system, very well. Are a lot of families split up like that? Has this happened to a lot of kids? A lot of families are split up simply because it's what the foster family families can handle. Sometimes they're all boys house, you know, their homes only for all boys. Sometimes their homes are only for all girls. So that's what's happened to them. So they've been split, Maybe split not for, for a while. Long. Yeah, hopefully. Now over to Kevin.